Hi Pisces, welcome to Soap Quest. My name is Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome in if you're new. This is going to be for the week of July 5th through the 11th. I'm going to be using two decks today. The first is the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to read the message for you. And the second is the Lily White Tarot. This is a French deck, an independent deck. Lily White, it is by Celia Melville from France. All right. So we're gonna, I've already shuffled many times, but I will shuffle a little bit for you while I'm telling you a little bit about the astrology of the week. Okay, so on July 6th and 7th, Venus opposes Saturn and squares Uranus. Now this happened just a few days ago with Mars. So we have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine going through a little bit of tension in order to grow and evolve in what Mars, our action, our will, and Venus does in our lives. Love, money, things like that. So we're taking action in our relationships, coming to crossroads perhaps, in decisions in love, in leveling up in a way, and maybe having a reality check about certain things. There's your card. Endless possibilities, Pisces. All right, endless possibilities for you, Pisces. Um, then also I will say that basically there could be changes in money and jobs. Things are really starting to bear fruit now. The new beginnings have, are beginning to happen and we're moving forward. Mercury is basically finishing its shadow period this week. So clarity will be coming right now. And I know with you know endless possibilities, Pisces, for you, that could just be a cloud of future fantasy and you not knowing what's going to happen, but it's saying that it, what you want to happen can happen. You just have to work with the universe in order to make it happen, right? I mean, obviously that's law of attraction and that might be a little bit of what we're talking about today, so we'll see. Also on Friday, or I should say the 9th or the 10th, depending on where you are in the world, uh, we are having the new moon in Cancer. We are in Cancer season, so it's a watery season. Cancer is fourth house. It's about home, hearth, mother, the things that nurture us, our family, things we care about. And it is a time where we take stock of those things. And maybe we, you know, with all these other plan outer planetary influences, because the further we go out in space, the further we go back in time. So ancestral things, patterns, um, you know, the things that we've always done the way that our parents and grandparents did them, and then making changes that we need to uh, to live in the modern world, right? Okay, so some of those influences, I think, probably are happening right now for you. Pisces, well, for all of us, really. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm going to cut the deck, and we're going to start your reading, Pisces. I am going to read that Endless Possibilities card for you. But let's pull your nine. We have the Lover's card, okay, and the Strength card. All right, now. So there's Mars and Venus working stuff out. And the Page of Pentacles, talking about working on it, the investment we're willing to make, having some patience for the change, the Wheel of Fortune. I will show you each one of these cards. We're going to go horizontal, we're going to go vertical, and do big, big picture. I'm still tripping over my tongue, Pisces. What about you? Then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the center, the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Humana, humana. Then we have the Page of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, that's great, and the Two of Cups. Pisces, you are working something out with someone. That's what I see. And on the bottom of the deck, the Magician. And it's in your hands right now. You are manifesting not only change, but I think improvement. And I think it's because you understand emotional spiritual growth better than anyone. All right, so let's take a look at Endless Possibilities, number 38. Number 38, Endless Possibilities. Here we go. The key concepts, unlimited potential, moving beyond limiting beliefs, and the filter of an unhealed past. Using your awareness to discern what is possible and having the courage to leap beyond even that. You look at the world through the lens of your life experiences, your personality, and your conditioning. 
That filter determines whether you believe in an abundant universe of endless possibilities or various degrees of limitation and a finite range of options. Is that Saturn and Uranus or what? Those two things, Saturn the limitations, Uranus limitless possibilities. <laughs> this could not be more apropos. All right, when your expectations, unconscious or otherwise, are based on lack, it's difficult to see what is truly available to you. Today, ask yourself what you believe. Are there limitless potential outcomes to align your energy with? Do you know intuitively that there is more to life than just meets the eye? And are you willing to act on that knowledge? As you believe, so will it be for you. As your energy will attract its match in the outer world. Conditions meet expectations. Either your world remains the way it is, in various forms, yet essentially unchanging, or you become more, more of yourself. Everything shifts as you open yourself up to the greater version of you and a more meaningful life, discovering opportunities that better reflect your true self. This is the nature of your dynamic relationship with the divine. Today, stand with open arms, knowing that you're stepping into beauty, into experiences that are potent and transformative. You are walking past the line that you and others drew long ago, leaping over what was and toward what will be. You are more than you were. Now, what is it that you want? The treasure is yours. You just need to believe in it. Wow. You just need to believe in it. That third eye chakra is wide open. Neptune and Pisces. Are you hearing from your own soul, Pisces? Do you feel a calling towards something? At the bottom of the deck, we have a magician, and this is you being given by the universe everything that you need, heart, mind, body, and soul, to do what it is that you need to do to expand your own self-definition. How you, do you define yourself? What do you say about yourself? Are you always self-deprecating? Do you believe in yourself? Do you say those things out loud in the way that speaks to the universe what you want reflected back to you? Right? So what are you saying? And what are you believing? All right, so magician, you are constantly co-creating with the universe. Whether you know it or not, you're manifesting with every thought and every feeling. Under that, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Look what you want to create. Joy, happiness, togetherness. Because look at you. Because you know who you are and you know that you have the potential and the capability to not only learn but to teach unconditional love and spiritual connection the emotional, spiritual connection of co-creation. Wow, that's deep. So you're trying to create more love, more happiness, more friendship in your life. That's the bottom of the deck. That's gorgeous. Let's go horizontally, okay? First line, the lover's card. And don't you love this lover's card? The two trees deeply rooted and twined together, growing together. Do you believe in love like this, Pisces? Do you believe in a love that can be like this, where two people are growing together in self-mastery? Do you have a partner that encourages you to grow? And do you encourage your partner to grow? And if you're, if you're not with someone right now, do you believe in love like this? Where people can grow together in self-mastery. And are you willing to learn, to plant new seeds, to make a commitment to yourself, to your inner child, that you can do this. You can create this. Do you believe that, Pisces? Big questions, huh? Well, it says right here that you can. You got the strength card. In the strength card, you can conquer anything that you need to 
in order to grow. You're strong enough. And look what your inner child is saying to you and what you know deeply, intuitively, that you want to exhibit in your life. That you want to be someone who creates the safe space for love, for joy, and for growth. Growing love on the planet. You're important, Pisces. We need you. <laughs> right? Your 12th house, you help us transmute all that stuck karma that we need to work on. The deep stuff, the deep spiritual stuff, the spiritual big jobs. Hey, shout out to Gemstone Tarot. I love it when you say that. I really do. <laughs> Okay, so the next line we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are definitely changing because you're nurturing it to change, because you're investing in yourself and what you want. You're taking your will, right? It's one of the things that the magician has. He's got every one of the tools, the sword, the wand, the pentacle, and the cup. Heart, mind, body, and soul to do what it is that you're trying to do, what you want to do. This is your desire, right? So you're desiring growth. You want to grow. This says that, right? Endless possibilities, but can you believe it? You may think about it and think, oh, if only I could, I would, I should, but do you believe in it? Do you believe in a love like this? Do you believe in self-love and self-mastery like this? And do you talk to your inner child and say, hey, what flower is it that you're trying to plant here? What, where are you trying to grow? Because the page becomes the queen when you let the universe work with you and bring about in divine timing and divine order the moment where you get to exert your will with your magician skills to create something, to make it happen. This is you, Pisces, making it happen. All you gotta do is believe it. So how? Well, Page of Cups. First and foremost, you give yourself some self-worth. You give yourself the cup of self-worth and you say, you know what, I'm worth it. I'm worth expanding myself, expanding my life, trusting myself, having faith in myself, and in a love that I can give this to others and receive it back equality, interdependency, a relationship based on give and take, requited love, not unrequited love, requited love. That's what I want to give my heart to. That's what I want. You want love, Pisces. You want a love that stands the test of time. You want a love that gives you the safe space, the respect, and the equality needed for both of you to grow together in self-mastery. That is what you want. Let's go vertical. Okay. Lover's card, growing together. In the God clock, the movement of the stars and planets, a change is happening now that has to do with your choices and love, and then an offer, a kindness, an open-hearted moment. This is a moment of kismet. You could meet someone and it'd be just perfect timing. Or maybe you just did meet someone, or maybe it's someone that you've loved for a long time, and this is just a new feeling New moon this week on the 9th or the 10th, depending on where you are in the world. A new moon in Cancer can be a new feeling. It can be the rejuvenation of an old relationship. Or a new friendship. It can be so many things. Love is universal and unconditional when it's pure and true and good. Okay, so, second line. The now. You have the strength. You are mastering self because you've decided that you're worth it. And look at you, right? You're grounded. You're taking what you know in your heart and your soul and you're putting it into action. 
you're giving yourself the credit for what you do every day to be who you are. You're embodying both the yin of these energies, which is internally loving and caring and equitable and fair and willing to have a spirit of generosity in love. This comes after this, right? The spirit of generosity. You are willing to open your heart to love and learn how to grow it. Something you want. Something that excites you. A new beginning. Maybe a new love. Pisces, whether you're in a marriage that you've been in for 30, 40, 50 years, or whether you're meeting someone brand new, this is a new start in love. No doubt. This is a new start in love because you have decided to open yourself to the possibility of it. Maybe you forgot what it feels like. And maybe you stop believing that at a certain age or whatever your parameters are, whatever age you were when you kind of stopped believing in miracles, that love can come to you in the form of a miracle. And maybe you're opening back up to that again and saying, you know, I can maybe let go of, you know, some of the jadedness and the way that I'm looking at, at life or love, you know. Once you've lived long enough, you know, you, you end up going through life getting scarred along the way. And after your heart's been scarred a while, it's hard to remember what new, beautiful, innocent, tender love feels like. You have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, love, love, right, for all people here. You have the Two of Cups and the Lovers on the diagonal. That's what you want to grow with your center card right here. Do you believe in love, Pisces? Do you still believe in love? Because if you do, there's someone here for you, somewhere. There's someone. And honestly, if you believe in it, it will come to you. You just have to read the clock and give yourself the time to allow for it to come in. All right? Wow, Pisces, that's beautiful. So leave me a comment. I can't wait to hear about this, all right? Hey, if you like the video, would you please give me a thumb up and click the subscribe button and don't forget that bell as well. Smash the bell. That way you get your notifications every week when you, I put your videos up online, all right? I'll talk to you again next week. Enjoy your new moon. Put those good thoughts in the universe. Yeah. Love, baby. Woo! Thank you, Pisces. I wish you well. Take care, kindness, reverence, and gratitude. May you have it every day. Thank you.